Hi everyone, welcome to North and South Homestead. I'm Kim and today we are going to talk about storing up spaghetti noodles for your long-term food storage. Let's not let COVID get the best of us this time. Oh no, 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 no. This time we'll all be ready with easy peasy ways to store our food to keep it safe and ready for us when we need. We're just going to need some canning jars, quart size, oxygen absorbers, your box of pasta, and a food sealer if you have one. But if you use oxygen absorbers as long as you use enough of them, then you don't really need to use this. We have our spaghetti noodles, we have our oxygen absorbers, a quart jar, and a lid. So all we have to do is open these babies up and now anyone knows, or maybe you don't know, that spaghetti noodles will not fit in a jar like that. You do have to break them. So just give them a little break, stick them down in there, and keep on going. As you can see, there's still plenty of room. You can still fit a lot more noodles in here um, if you want to. But today we're just demonstrating how easy it is to do this. So we've got our noodles in. Now we need our oxygen absorbers. You hear that? And we're going to put four in here just because we have extra air. And to fill our we're going to seal our oxygen absorbers back up in this jar so that they don't go bad. Set them aside. Put the pasta lid on. Now, tighten up the lid nice and tight. And that's done other than labeling it and dating it. If you have a seal -a mill or one similar with the accessory port here, then you can buy these attachments to go with it. Now, I've only found them online. I've never found them at Walmart or anywhere like that. So just plug it in there. Put it on top of your jar. Of course, this is for wide mouth and this is a regular mouth, so it's not really going to work, but I'm going to show you. And you put it down. You don't have the ring on. You just have the lid on. Put it down. Stick this in there. Turn it on. It'll suck the air out. Then you release it and pull it off and it's sealed. Then you can put the lid back on it and it's done. But the quick and easy way to do it is just to use the oxygen absorbers. And as long as you put enough oxygen absorbers in it, it will seal it. Now, a quart jar, you need 100 cc oxygen absorbers. I don't really care much for this brand that I put in here, so I threw 200 in there just to make sure. Plus, there is extra space in there. Um, like I say, you can fill it up more. But this is one box full in a jar. And that way, you have spaghetti stored away in a jar. Now, this way, as long as it seals, check it in 24 hours to make sure that it doesn't go like this. If it makes that little popping sound, then it's not sealed and you need to redo it. But... Once it's actually sealed and you can't hear that popping sound, then it's good for a lot of years, about eight to 10 years and maybe even longer as, as long as you keep it stored in a dark room. With storing your spaghetti noodles in a jar like this, then not only do you have the spaghetti noodles safe and properly stored, but once you use them, now you have a jar that you can use to can up something else or to store something else in. With all the scare from the COVID and this talk about it coming back around again, I hope that we've all learned something from it and that we make sure to put away what our family needs. And with something so simple like this, anyone can do it. So there you go, nice and easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And if you would like to see other videos pertaining to storing away food, then please just drop us a comment down below. 
Have a great day, and God bless you.